Hi everyone, it's Evangeline, and today we'll be taking a look at how the inner tire hold two bike platform rack works with our 2019 Honda Passport. If you're looking for an in-depth review video where it talks about wake pass, the construction materials, things like that, check out our full review video on the tire hold page. But this is going to be a very quick summary of how it works with the car. The Honda Passport is a very practical vehicle. You have all that great um, cargo space and you can carry up to five people with it. Now this is going to be a very easy and practical bike rack. You got the great weight capacity for your heavy electric bikes, but you have the super easy to use arms. Now what I did notice though is that the tilt away is not that deep of an angle. So for here on the Passport, if you're carrying a mountain bike, with longer handlebars, you are gonna have to like tilt it away to get clearance to the hatch. Other than that, you are now able to access that great cargo space you have on the Passport. And then once your door is down, you just lift the bike rack back up and you're ready to hit to the road again. So that is one downside to this bike rack, but definitely still works. You have this very easy to use mounting system. You just press the buttons and then you push the arms out and just like that, you can take your bike off and you're ready to hit the trails. So for that reason alone, I'm a huge fan of the tire hold over some of the other bike racks paired with a 60 pound weight pack. This doesn't take up too much space or too much effort. Now this is on the compact side, meaning you do have a clearance of 31 inches for your garage space and a ground clearance, meaning your bikes are gonna sit 25 inches off the ground. With those heavier bikes, if you can't lift a 60, 60 pound bike up two feet, that might be something worth considering. You may wanna check out the Yakima on-ramp instead, which has an included ramp. This folds up like this to be a lot more portable. Downside is you won't be able to open the hatch. The pros are, you can drive around town without taking up too much space. This does require a hitch on your passport. You can use this with an inch and quarter hitch. You can also use it with a two inch hitch receiver. Make sure to pick one up if your Honda Passport does not have one already. We have them here at e-trailer. All in all, it's a great pairing with the passport. You just saw how quick and easy that whole process was. You also have full visibility through your rear window. You will lose a little bit of your view through your rear view camera though, but you can drive around with it in the down position. Definitely checks off most of those boxes. This was a look at the Inno Tire Hold 2 by Platform Rack on the 2019 Honda Passport. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is gonna show us the side to side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole, or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. 